Hi, this is Wes Harrison at Bun Beyond Auto Repair and I'm on my way to Colorado to do some indoor skydiving. And on the trip I thought I'd take a few minutes to answer some questions for you guys that I get asked all the time. One of the most popular questions I get is, is an extended warranty worth it? Now there's two phases to this. Yes, some extended warranties are absolutely worth it and some extended war warranties aren't worth the paper that they rip you off to buy. You have to read them very carefully. Let me give you both scenarios. On a brand new car where the dealership's offering you a factory extended warranty, those are worth it because if you don't use it, usually they'll rebate you the money back. So it's an insurance policy that you aren't gonna have any problems for the period of time that the warranty is for. And that's definitely worth it even if it's two grand for 100,000 miles, the transmission goes out, doesn't matter, it's bumper to bumper, it's covered. Now, that is completely different than what the used car guy or the car dealer that's selling a used car, they will tell you, this is a bumper to bumper warranty. It covers everything. Now you're thinking it's like the new car warranty, the extended warranty, where it's actually bumper to bumper. But it's not. When you start reading the details, the only thing it covers bumper to bumper are the internally lubricated parts, which it will go on further to specify that unless the failure is caused by the failure of an internally lubricated part, the failure is not covered. What does that mean? That means that if for some reason the part breaks just because it broke, then and only then is it covered. The problem with that is, is any more parts just don't break because there's always a reason that they break. For example, not changing the oil. If you don't change the oil and a part breaks, internally lubricated part breaks because the oil wasn't changed, the and should, they'll send out a, an investigator and he'll look at it, he'll take all the pictures and he wants to, he'll want all the records when all the oil changes were and everything else. And if you don't have that and it's obvious that the oil wasn't changed, claim denied. You spent fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars for an extended warranty that you thought was bumper to bumper, but in fact isn't because it won't cover any of that stuff. And then on this bumper to bumper that you're thinking, only internally lubricated parts, it doesn't have anything to do with anything else that might break like uh, wheel bearings or all the other regular maintenance stuff, only, only engine drive line. I see it happen all the time. So here's what I suggest you do. If you're thinking about getting an extended warranty on a car that you're getting ready to buy, call me, call me first. Ask, ask, I will tell you, okay? And then I may actually ask you to fax over a copy of it or bring me the brochure of it or put the salesman on the phone so that I can talk to him because I can get, I can smell it real fast. I deal with extended warranties all the time. There's good ones, there's bad ones. Now there are some very good extended warranties for used cars. Those are the warranty and they're the same price as the ripoff ones. Those are the warranties that you want because they really do cover premature parts failure and, and they'll cover it. Maybe it'll cost you a hundred dollars, but that's better than that's better than a poke in the eye. Now, what kind of extended warranties are offered? There's they change so fast. There's so many shysters out there. They change so fast. I can't keep up with them all. I can tell you this. I know them when I see them. So, give me a call 816-453-8282. And if I'm not there, whoever's there knows how to knows how to decipher them. Uh, give us a call. We will help you through it. So, in answer to the question, is an extended warranty worth it? If you pick the right one, yes it is. If you don't take the time and do your homework to find out which one's which, then they can really get you. Some of the other little things to watch out for is, can you take your car anywhere that you choose to take it to? Or do you have to take it back to the selling dealer? Some extended warranties, if you're within 50 miles of where you bought the car from, you have to go back to them, which is okay, as long as they cover everything that they're supposed to cover. But you need to know this because if you are if you have another mechanic that you want to take it to and you're thinking, hey, my extended warranty, can you cover that? Yes, we can and all that. But then you get that exclusion and the salesman isn't going to tell you about the exclusion in the bottom that it has to come back to them. You want to know about that stuff. So if you have any questions, give me a call. 816-453-8282 and I'll help guide you in the right direction. Again, this is Wes Harrison. 
Above Beyond Auto Repair.com. Thank you very much.